Okay, let's move on to 3.2. So it says, more water must be taken to the refreshment stations. The water will be transported in cylindrical buckets, right, with lids, with a maximum capacity of 20 liters of water, okay? The cylindrical butter, buckets <laughs> containing water with lids are shown below, okay? So this, he has a picture of the bucket with 20 liters, and it's got a lid on it, okay? And it says, that, importantly, the outside diameter of the bucket is 31,2 centimeters, but the bucket walls are two millimeters thick. So that's important, right? So basically, you have a bucket like this, and there's an outside diameter, right? And then there's an inside diameter. And the difference between those two is the thickness of the wall, okay? So it's saying the thickness of the wall is only, right, two millimeters thick. Okay, that's important. So there'll be an outside diameter and an inside diameter. Then it says, this is the top view um, of buckets placed on a solid rectangular pallet, okay? So they put on that pallet and they're going to transport it off to the stations. So let's now see what they're asking us. It says, use the information in picture above to answer the questions that follow. Determine the maximum height in centimeters of water in the bucket if the outside diameter of the bucket is 31.2 centimeters. So we have the volume here. Right, and we know that we have the volume of the cylinder, which is twenty liters. We have the radi uh, We have the radius. We're gonna have to work it out because there's a little bit of work we have to do around the outside diameter, inside diameter, and the radius. We'll do that now, but we don't have the height, right? So that's what we're gonna work out. So there's a couple of things we need to do before we can actually get to the height. But let's just jump in and see what we can do so far. Okay, remember to also label your questions. Okay, so we know that the volume equals twenty liters. Okay. But all of our like our radius and our height is going to be in centimeters. So let's convert our liters into centimeters cubed. And they've given us a nice little calculation there. So 20 liters is 20 times a thousand, right? That will give us in centimeters cubed. So 20 times a thousand. So it's 20 thousand centimeters cubed. That's important because we actually want everyone, um, all of the different dimensions, right, within this formula to be in centimeters because then it's easier to understand and to get the height. Okay. Then we know that the outside diameter of the bucket is 31.2 centimeters. But we know that the thickness of bucket, right, is 0 0.2 centimeters, right? Now you could be saying, why is it 0 0.2? Remember, this is the same as two millimeters, okay? I've just said two divided by 10 to get it into centimeters to make it a little bit easier, right? Just remember that. So let's figure out what the inside diameter is gonna be. So the inside diameter is gonna be this 31.2 centimeters minus, we'll subtract 0 0.2 centimeters for that side, and 0 0.2 centimeters for the other side. Because basically the diameter, remember, is a line across. So we're saying the outside diameter, right? The outside diameter, let me make this maybe a little bit, let's just do that so we can see it a bit better, okay? So the outside diameter, right, includes these little thicknesses here, which are these, okay? But the inside diameter does not include that. It just includes that little bit there, okay? So we're going to say, let's put that into our calculator, 31.2 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2, and that is 30.8 centimeters. That is the inside diameter, okay? So let's see if we've got everything that we need to put into our calculators, okay? We have... We don't have the radius. We only have the inside diameter. So let's get the inside radius. So the inside radius is this divided by 2, which is 15.4 centimeters, right? And that is the inside radius. Okay. Remember, the diameter is always 2 of the radius. Okay. I don't know why I didn't write anything that side, but anyways. So now we can say volume equals pi times radius squared times height. So let's put in our volume over there. Pi, they've told us, equals 3.142.
Remember when they give you pi, don't use the pi on your calculator. Use the pi they give you, right? They don't just give you things for the bands, right? They give it to you so that you use it. Okay, so now the only thing that we have that we haven't, that we don't have a value for is this height, okay? So now we want to get height by itself. Now, this is, we have to do a little bit of what we call algebraic manipulation. You could be thinking, good grief, what does that mean? Well, basically it means we have to get rid of everything that's in front of the h and get the h by itself. So if we want to get rid of something that is multiplied by the h, we have to divide it, okay? So we're going to divide it by these two terms. And because we've done it on the one side, we have to do it on the other side, okay? Otherwise, we are changing the sum, okay? So here, these are just going to cancel because it's basically something divided by itself. Anything divided by itself is always 1, right? So it's just going to be 1 times h, which is the same as just saying h. Oh, that's the equal sign. And then this side, we're going to have to plug that into our calculator, and that will give us our height, so let's just put it in nice. Oh, goodness. Let's put it in nicely. So it's 20,000 over 3.142 times by 15.4 all squared. Let me make sure you can see that. Perfect. And our height is going to be 26.84 centimeters. Remember, always round off to two decimal places. Okay. So that is our height there. Okay, so quite a lot of work you had to do. You had to convert everything into centimeters, right? You had to get the inside diameter, you had to get the inside radius, and then you had to manipulate to get height. So it's a little bit of a tricky question, but also not impossible. Okay, let's now move on to the next question. Okay, the next question says, buckets are placed on the pallets as shown in the diagram above. Okay, so we see that, yeah? buckets. Then it says, you may use, uh, oh sorry, calculate the unused area in centimeters of the rectangular floor of the solid pallet. Okay, so we're going to work out the area of the whole pallet, then the area of these 11, do you see there's 11? Count there, you should see 11. There's 11 of these buckets. We're going to find out what is the area basically that they're using on the floor of the pallet, right? So we're not interested about their volume, we're just interested about the area of their bums, okay? Because their bums are going to be sitting on the pallet. Okay, so it says area of a circle. So let's do that, right? So area of a circle, right? And you could be saying, well, why is it a circle? Well, the bottom of this bucket is a circle, right? So we're going to use the area of the circle, okay? So we're going to say pi times radius squared. Now, right, are we going to use the inside diameter or the outside diameter to find this radius? going to use the outside diameter because it's not the inside diameter that is sitting on the pallet. It's the outside diameter. Okay. So this radius here is going to be 31.2 divided by 2. Okay. Pi is going to be this 3.142, which they've given us, times by 31.2 over 2 all squared. Okay. Let's put that into our calculator. Remember, I know I say this a million times, but always make sure that you're typing in your um, calculation correctly because it's a very easy way to lose marks. Okay, let me just check if I've done that correctly. Okay, that is centimeters squared. Okay, so do you guys agree with me? Okay, that is where, that is basically, right? That is the area of the circle. Okay, so now we know that there's 11 circles, right? There's 11 circles because there's 11 of these buckets that sit in there. So firstly, we're going to say 7.6, oh, sorry, 764.64 times 11. So this is the area of all the circles, okay, which is 8411.00832, which is 8411.00832. 0, 0.01 centimeters squared. Okay, so that is the area of the 11 circles. Now we need to figure out what is the area, right? So you, you probably would have seen, yeah, I rounded it off here, but then when I use it in my calculator, I didn't round this off. It's actually not good practice to round off before the end, okay? So even though I've rounded off here, I would actually prefer you not to keep these sort of um, whole numbers because we only like the rounded off answer at the end, 
okay? So let's now work out the area of the palette, right? So the area of the palette is going to be length times breadth, right? That's what we've got here, or width times length, same thing. And it's going to be 100 times 120, okay? 100 times 120, okay? So let's do that. 100 times 120, so that is 1, 12,000 centimeters squared. So what we want to know is we want to know the unused area. So the unused area, right, the unused area is going to be 12,000 minus this 841101, right? So put that into your calculator. Um, you should probably put the whole one. I've just done a whole speech about how you should do the whole number. So just put that in, okay? And you'll see that that's 3588.99 centimeters squared, okay? So that is the unused area. We worked out the area of the 11 circles, the area that is used. We worked out the total area that could be used. And we said what could be used minus what was used. And this shows us the unused. Okay. So it's important to remember what we're doing. Okay. Cool. Quite a big question, but we did quite well. Okay. Let's now move on to... Um, sorry, I'm not running out of space yet. Let's move on to 3.2.2b. Okay. It says, determine length C as shown in the diagram below. Above, sorry. So we can see here, right, that length C, so if we if we add the, the diameters, so the diameter is basically one diameter there, two diameters there, then we have C, and then we have three diameters. So this 120 adds up to these three diameters plus C. Okay, so let's write that out. We have 120 equals 3 times the outside diameters, right? The outside diameters of the um, buckets, right? It's not the inside, it's the outside, outside diameters, right? Plus C. So now we just want to get C by itself. So C by itself is going to be this 120 minus 3 times 31.2 or oh, we don't have to put the centimeters in. Okay. Because basically we're saying, what, what um, out of the 120, right, we have 120 centimeters, if we take away what we know to be there, which is this three diameters, then all we're left with is C. Okay. So let's put that into our calculator. We say, okay, we have 120. We know that there are three diameters that are sitting in that 120. And all that's left is this 26.4 centimeters. So that's what C equals. 26.4 centimeters. That is this little bit over here. Okay. So it's quite a nice question, that one. It seems more difficult than it is, but it's actually all right. Okay. So we've done C. Let's now move on to the last question for this video, right? Which is 3.2.3. And let's see what it says. Cool. It says, the organizer would have preferred each pallet to have 12 buckets arranged in the three pallets of four, uh, uh, three rows of four each, right? So basically he wants 12 in total as opposed to 11 as we saw at the top, okay? It says, well, calculate the percentage by which the length of the pallet should be increased to accommodate this new arrangement, okay? So importantly, right, what we see here is that the length would actually then be four diameters, right? Four diameters of the the bucket. So if we want to put four across, four across the top, well, we're going to need this much. Okay, we want four in a row, right? And we know that each of their diameters is 31.2. So the length would have to be 124.8 centimeters. That's what it would have to be in order to accommodate those four in a row. But it's only 120, okay? So we have to say, in order to understand the percentage, we say new minus old, this is important, over old times 100. Because that tells us the percentage that it would have to increase, right? The percentage, the length would have to increase by in order to fit four across the top. So we say 12, uh, sorry, 124.8 minus 120, because that's what it was before, 
over 120 times 100. Okay, and we put that into our calculator. Make sure you type it in correctly. And we can see that it has to be 4% bigger. Okay, it has to be 4% bigger. Okay, so this was one of those classic new versus old. It's, it's quite a common question. Okay, so I want you to be comfortable with that. But it's not too difficult. Okay, again, we, we just need to recognize what we're working with. And then once we do that, we can get our answer. Okay, perfect. That's the end of the video. Hope that helped, guys. Cheers.